gonna give you our top five biggest losers. Le who, the her. Of 2022. Coming in at number five is the All-American Golden Boy, Thomas Edward Patrick Brady Jr. Thank you, this whole government. Tom Brady had a terrible 2022, and here's why. From a highly public divorce, Tom Brady breaks his silence about his split from Giselle Bundchen. To one of his worst performances on the field since 2022. I said before, when I suck, I'll retire. If I feel like I can't help our team win, then what's the point? As a great teammate, you let someone else play. Being caught up in the FTX scandal, losing millions of dollars, and surely regretting signing up as the official spokesperson for the fallen company this guy first even if you wanted to come back we wouldn't take you yes you would yeah, yeah we, we would. would you're right we would what's up i'm getting into crypto with ftx you in I believe i'm in but still hate you understood is he in yep did he say he hates you he did the goat has had a pretty rough 2022 <laughs> On to our number four spot. This L was a little bit too big for just one person. So I'm gonna have to give it to two people, Meg and Tori. I know some of you guys are wondering, hmm, why does Meg also get it? I'll explain in just one moment. Tori gets the L because obviously he's facing up to 22 years in prison. So guilty on all three counts, what does a sentence look like? It looks like up to 22 years oh, in jail and potentially after the sentence is served, deportation back to Canada. Tory Lanez was found guilty on three different charges. And why Meg's part of this list is that she lost all credibility. Did you have an intimate relationship with him? Like sexual? Yeah, yeah. Did you have, <laughs> did you, Megan, <laughs> did you have a sexual relationship with Tory Lanez? Yes, that's my question. I didn't have a sexual relationship with Tory. Meg the Stallion testifying. She was asked, were you intimate? She said yes. Coming in at the number three spot is Amber Turd. Woo! I can smell it from over here. <laughs> from recording audio and video and trying to blackmail Johnny Depp, which utterly backfired on her, to bullying, abusing, and cheating on Johnny. I didn't punch you, by no. the way. You, I'm sorry that I didn't uh, uh, hit you across the face in a proper slap, but I was hitting you. It was not punching you. Babe, you're not punched. Don't tell me what it feels like to be punched. You didn't get punched. You got hit. I'm sorry I hit you like this, but I did not punch you. I did not f***ing deck you. I f***ing was hitting you. Pooping in his bed. Nasty. It was a, it was a photograph of the bed, our bed, um, and on my side of the bed was human fecal matter. And being ordered to pay fifteen million dollars, I say that Miss Tur took a pretty big hit in twenty twenty two. Pretty big hit or pretty big. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Very good. for our number two spot, Will, Will, Will Smith. Damn it, man. Will, come on. Will gets the number two spot for a slapping Chris Rock. <laughs> oh, wow. And honestly, guys, it was just a joke. I get it, I get it. Listen, she, she's bald, I get it, I have hair. Someone's like, Sharon, why are you talking? You have hair. I get it, right? I get it, hair sensitive, but Jada Pinkett makes so much money, man. You can throw anything on her head. People still watch. Will Smith makes so much money, but continue. I mean, they, 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 they're married. Yeah, they're, uh, married. That's a good they're married. You know, his money, her money, yeah. yeah especially in California. Anyway, continue. Mm, California, that's, that's me. Uh, another big reason is that Will Smith just put up with blatant disrespect mm. from Jada Pinkett. As you'll see in the clip that we're about to play, Will saying, stop, Jada. And she just keeps going. Don't just start filming me without asking me. Oh, my goodness. If you could film me. Come help us again, please. I'm still dealing with foolishness. Our number one spot for biggest loser, Kanye West, man. Come on, Kanye. So in 2022, Kanye West went on a series of rants that ended in his partnerships 
from Adidas, a Balenciaga, Gap. Adidas joined the long list of companies cutting ties with Ye. Several other major businesses and brands have also dumped him. In fashion, Vogue, Balenciaga, and just today, The Gap yanked all his Yeezy stuff. J.P. Morgan and Chase kicked him out of the bank. Talent agent CAA dropped him as a client. Twitter and Instagram suspended all of his social media, everything. Not a good day for Ye at all. You can just see the decline in his net worth just go from here to down here because of kanye west's crazy tirade he lost over a billion dollars billion with a b kanye's been dropping rhymes about brands and money for years he has a lot less of both tonight the move costing Ye his billionaire status forbes reports his net worth dropped to 400 million after adidas dropped him their partnership was reportedly worth about one and a half bill and not to even mention the end of the greatest partnership was with his wife not only did he lose a billion dollars in net worth, what he claims is two, he was also ordered to pay Kim $200,000 a month in child support. Ye must pay the Skims founder $200,000 a month for child support starting December 1st. Overall, I think 2022 was crazy. From Will Smith slapping the black off of Chris Rock. I'm sad for the Fresh Prince. I wish that didn't happen. Kanye West lost his everlasting mind. Tom Brady, he's still the GOAT, but he's taking a bit of a hit. Amber Turd is just weird. Meg and Tori, that's terrible. That was just a mess. For the public opinion, Meg lost in real life. Tori, Tori lost. lost. <laughs> what can I say? 15 years ago, he dropped the good life. He said, having money's not everything. Not having it is. Now he's learning. Just in case you guys thought some of the decisions we made were bad, I went through my phone and called some of my friends to see who they thought were the biggest losers of 2022. Bro, quick question. Shoot, shoot. Who do you think took the biggest L this year? No filter. Just go on. No filter, man. That's, that's hard to say, and it's tough because it's my boy, but I got to give the biggest L recipient this year to that Kanye. I think, I think losing your wife a bunch of brand endorsements and half your money in one year could drive the sanest man wild. So waking up knowing that I lost my wife to a <laughs> named Pete, that, that got it, bro. That got it, bro. So I got to I gotta pour out some liquor for my man Kanye West and hope he can come back to reality sometimes. Hey, man, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Hey, stay up, man. I'm a big fan. All right. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, bro? You're on live. So I got a quick question for you, bro. No no filter. Okay. Who do you think took the biggest L this year? Be completely honest. The biggest L this year? Kanye West, bro. Woo! Like, <laughs> That's two for two. He's been taking L's all year. Him losing all that money, that is just a big L. And it was kind of his own doing. All right, man. Good looks. Thank you. Bye. Yo. What's up, cuz? Yo, what's up, guys? Quick question, unfiltered. Who took the biggest L this year? I have to say Tory Lanez. Mm. Woo! He locked up his career. His career job like that. I might have to go with Tory Lanez, man. It's All right, bet. All right, bet. Kanye West still a free man. Tory Lanez facing time. Mm, That's true. Mm, mm. All right, bet. Good, good looks, cuz. Thank you. No problem, no problem. Yo, you got Quick question. Who do you think unfiltered the biggest L this year? What about Tony and Brown? It's not like a meme that he was uh, sleeping with like Tom Brady's chick or something. That would be a W. Know. I'm kidding. That'd be a terrible L. Who's good? Hey, man, I have a quick question. Unfiltered, who do you think took the biggest L this year? That's random as f What are you talking about? In terms of what? I'm, I'm talking about just in general. Celebrities, famous people, rappers, actors, athletes. Who, who took the biggest L? It's random as f But um, I would say Will Smith for slapping Chris Rock. Because that backfired on his reputation and his career. Why are you ask? How how did that make you feel when you saw Will Smith slap him? Why are you asking such random questions? Oh, so I can't ask my friends random questions now? Am I in a, I in a job interview right now? No. If you don't pick up real quick, it's important, and then puts me on a job. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but no, how how did that make you feel when you when you saw Will Smith slap him? I actually felt ashamed as a black man. I feel like I feel like the whole black community felt ashamed that Will Smith was such an icon. In the black man, and then he threw away his whole reputation and career just to please Jada, who's a <laughs> <laughs> All right, bet. Hey, man, thank you. I appreciate it, bro. This has been our 
2022 list of the five biggest losers well that's been it guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let us know if we should have added some more losers